we will discuss about now two dimensional arrays so let's have int a 3 4 is equal to 1 2 3 4 this is how we write the math not a semicolon then 7 8 9 10 and let's say 20 21 22 and 25 so this is our array is initialized now and now we will take we will make a memory map so it's a two dimensional array so first let's see in the linear it let so let's make a 2d diagram so it will be into 4 so there will be 4 columns and 3 rows so this is the array and we will have 1 2 3 4 in the first row then 7 8 9 10 in the second row 20 21 22 25 in the third row but this is how we see it but in the computer so we have just one long linear memory so this is the case so we have 12 partition 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so this is how the memory will be and let's say starting from 100 so 2 bytes for integer 102, 104, 106, 108, 110. So this is the layout and now we have here so 1, 2, 3, 4. The second row will be 7, 8, 9, 10. And the third row is 20, 21, 22, and 25. So this is the memory layout. And next thing we need to do is now see so how this map. So A is the pointer name, so it should be somewhere here. Next is so this is A now, and we will have a0 a1 something and a2 so these are the rows so each row so if we do now a is a double pointer because now it's pointing so if i do a plus one so it means this increment by some number means equivalent to some size and here a is a double pointer and if I increment it by 1, so it will be basically 8, 8 bytes because each row has, each row has 4 int equal to 8 bytes. Hence, when I do a plus 1, it will become 100 plus 8 equal to 108 and I will directly jump from A to 108 so this is the thing and if I do A plus 2 so it means I will be incrementing by so there will be each row has 4 int so there will be 8 integers and so 16 will be the increment so from 100 it will be 100 plus 16 equal to 116 so I will go from here to this side and so we can see so this is the this span is first row this is second row and this one is the third row so this now becomes much clearer and hence 
now let's see so this was an operation on rows so we did some operations on rows but what about some specific element let's say i want to access this one nine which is the third column in the second row so i know that i can access the second row by doing a plus one so i have moved here which means i have gone here so this is a plus one now i have to go to the third row third column in this one so a plus one is a two dimensional pointer but this is now a one dimensional array the second row so i put 1d reference so now it becomes at this place i am here now i want to increase by 2 so now i have reached so a plus 1 is 108 if i make it a plus 1 plus 2 so now it will get incremented by 4 and it will be hundred and eight plus four equal to one hundred and twelve so we are able to access this element for that we have to difference de difference the single pointer and it will be equal to now the ninth element or a of one comma two so which is equal to hundred and twelve so I think by understanding this two dimensional array so we now have a clear concept of two dimensional pointers and we can make this extend to any other three dimensional four dimensional array.